Some my friend and her baby today. I really let me take off my. Be your best, be your best. You can do it. Be your best. Be your means beauty in Japanese. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello! And if you're coming back, thank you! My name is Laura and this is Be Your Best Beauty and here I like to talk about Japanese skincare, mostly Japanese skincare, sometimes some Korean skincare, maybe some sea beauty, I don't know. If you want a surprise, why don't you register? Toroku, what is? Subscribe! Subscribe and find out! Before we end today's video, you know, I gotta tell you about my new service that I started. It's the local beauty guy. Be your best beauty, local beauty guy. I don't know. We're working on the name. And essentially what it is, is that if you come into Japan and you want to shop for Japanese skincare, but you don't know where it is that you want to get, like you have a list, for example, of stuff that you want to get, or you don't know what products you want to get, but you know what you want on Target. And you're like, how can I get these things? Obviously you can go to the store and you can be in Donki or I don't know, Matsumoto Kyoto, wherever it is that you want to be. And you can scan the item with Google. That's where you find. I'm just saying, it's going to take a lot of time. Or you can have me and I can help guide you to the place so you won't get lost because the train system is a little wiggly waggly and then help you out with finding the products that suit your skin needs so that i can help you be your best so if you want to do that you can go ahead and contact me at be your best view at gmail.com today we're gonna do another episode of ultimate ultimate japanese beauty guide ultimate japanese beauty shopping guide or something like that this is episode two so as always if you see me looking down i'm looking down at the script essentially what the series is it's just a brief overview of like brands that you can find in japanese drugstores or like donkeys and things like that just so you can have a an idea of what you're up against like you're not fighting anybody i guess except yourself and your will to spend too much money yeah just so you know like hey what's this product you know so yeah, the first brand that I'm going to talk about today is Sananame Daka, Sananame Daka Honpo, which you've probably heard of before. This brand is famous for using soybeans as their start ingredient in pretty much like all of their products. And most items are usually under 2,000 yen, at least in Japan. I think maybe it might be a little more expensive if you buy it overseas just because there's like a, you know, the import tax and whatever other kind of tax or tariffs. I don't even know what tariff means. Realistically, I don't know what tariff means. I'm going to put that out there. I'm ignorant as to what the word tariff means. That's fine. Let's move on. So yeah, but you can find this product in usually most drugstores, variety shops, or donkey places like that. And then this brand has a baffling, like an absolute baffling amount of products. Like they have milk cleansers, they have foam cleansers, they have micellar water type cleansers, they've got toners, serums, emulsions, they've got creams, they've got eye creams, they've got all-in-one creams, they've got sheet masks, and they even have some makeup products like base products that have skin a sunscreen in them so they have mainly four types of lines that they use that that would be the moisture line the skin brightening line the aging care line and then the elasticity and firmness line and this brand is constantly coming out with new products like left right up down pop it twist it you know that's they doing they doing the most their most recent product are these new vitamin c products that they came out with for the whitening line and they also came out with a toner for sensitive skin if you want more info about that i do have a video so you can click up somewhere wherever it is that, that thing is going to pop up you can also check it down below in the description box basically this line if you thought of something for your skin you probably have a product for it like i mentioned earlier the product the line is pretty expensive it's pretty easily accessible inside of japan and even outside of japan so, terrible segue, but let's move on to the next product. So the next product is the Ihada line, which is another brand that I don't think is super well known outside of Japan. I don't know. Have you heard of Ihada? Because I, di I, I didn't know until I started really learning about skin, Japanese skincare and stuff like that. So in the last episode of UGJB, so I talked about D Program, which is actually also another sub brand of Shiseido. Today's brand is also by Shiseido. Like Shiseido, I guess it's like the parent brand. And then Shiseido has like a bunch of little brands that they have. I don't know what to call it, but we're gonna call it a sub brand. So one of their sub brands I talked about last week, D Program. And then this week we're gonna talk about Ihada. So like just like how Sana has like soybeans as their main feature, I would say that Ihada they have highly refined Vaseline as its feature ingredient. Ihada's feature is that the Vaseline, the highly refined Vaseline in their products is used to create a seal on the skin that can become dry that has the potential of becoming dry or having skin troubles due to a weakened skin barrier so this brand has three kinds of products that they put out and that would be the Yakuyo or medicated cosmetics so like this does not mean that those cosmetics are medicine or that they're medicine level cosmetics that's just like the name there's reason for it we'll get into that another day 
and then this section of the products that they make uh, includes toners, emulsions, and balm. Next is the Bolgyo Care or Protective Care, and then this includes they have fresh paste powder, they have a fresh, they have a pest face powder, a face sunscreen, and a spray to help protect like your face from pollution and other stuff like viruses and sticking to your face. And then the last one essentially is over the counter cosmetics. But again, that's some business for another day. So today we're just gonna do a brief overview of the medicated cosmetics because that's what usually would be, you know, together with other other skincare items that you would go to when going to the drugstore. So comparing Ihada to Sana, um, in terms of like the amount of items that they have is maybe not fair and that's because sana just has such an overwhelming amount of products like compared to sana like it'd be like david and goliath like i just feel like sana is a like goliath they just have so many different types of products and then you have david here with his little slingshot but yeah essentially what i'm trying to say is that sana has a lot of products and Ihada does not for Ihada, they only have two different types of products they have the regular products and then they have the skin brightening line product for the regular products they have one milk cleanser only two toners are of different viscosities they have a just like a thinner one and then a thicker one and then they have an emulsion they have a night pack and then they have a balm and the skin brightening line has a toner an emulsion and a balm so you can tell the difference between these two because the bihaku or the skin brightening will have the bihaku like kanji and this little circle on the bottle versus the ones that are not bihaku they will not have that on the bottle also the bihaku versions of the iha the products are going to be more expensive than the regular types okay so that's it for today's episode of the ultimate guide japanese beauty shopping that's a weird name anyway so yeah i hope that you learned something new about the products again hopefully someday i'll be able to do a more deep dive into products but for right now i'm just gonna kind of stick to the surface level but yeah again remember if you're interested on in shopping together in tokyo please feel free to contact me at biobestbeauty at gmail.com if if you have any questions about any products that i mentioned here or just any like j beauty questions in general please leave them down below in the description box as always i hope you have a great day and remember god bless me your best